Hi, good afternoon everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something we have not done before. I am doing a video on how to steam your milk. Now please note this video is not about latte art. Latte art requires a skill in addition to steaming your milk correctly. This is specifically on steaming milk for lattes. So let's go ahead and get started. Obviously you will need a frothing pitcher for this. All pitchers are different, but the same principles apply. What you need to do is that you need to fill the pitcher with milk all the way to where the spout of the pitcher begins. Now for this pitcher, my pitcher is 11 ounces, but that halfway point that I'm talking about, that's about seven ounces for this pitcher specifically. So once you fill it with milk, we'll go ahead and get started. So just to show you on empty, once you have the milk, you will put the steaming wand in the pitcher. Obviously you will go right below the surface, not too deep, and this is just to get the pitcher started. Now once you've started, what you're going to do is that you're going to pull the steaming wand out just a little bit so it hits the surface and makes a tearing sound. That is the sound where it means that you are introducing air into the milk. Now that you saw it on empty, let's go ahead and get some milk. Again, I'm going to fill it all the way to about that halfway point, which for me is about six and a half to seven ounces, and then I'll turn on the steamer and we'll get going. At that point, when I'm tearing the milk, I will turn on the sound so you can hear exactly what that sounds like. Here's a close up of how much milk I poured into my frothing pitcher. As you can see, it's about the halfway point and where the spout begins. Please note that you have to have the right amount of milk. If you overfill it or underfill it, it's going to make it that much more difficult to get the right consistency of the milk. Let's go ahead and steam the milk. Notice I'm putting the steaming wand right below the surface of the milk and this is just to get it started. And now I am slowly lowering the pitcher to get that tearing sound. Here's what that sounds like. Now please note, I'm only tearing the milk for about four to five seconds because I don't want to introduce too much air into the milk. So once I've teared it for about four to five seconds, then I dunk the steaming wand again into the milk and that is just to warm up the milk at this point. Another very important factor in steaming your milk is getting the vigorous roll into the pitcher. So what you want to do is you want to ensure that you've positioned your steaming wand just right in the steaming pitcher so that the milk is rolling around in the pitcher mixing together so the foam and the milk mixes together for the right consistency. Every machine and pitcher is going to be different but for my pitcher I need to put the steaming wand just off center and then tilt the steaming pitcher about 15 degrees to the side to get that roll. Now, if you've done all of these things you should have great milk for your lattes. Like I said earlier it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to do latte art because that requires skill, but your milk will be just right. So to show you that, let's go ahead and make a quick drink. Before we make the drink, here's a final shot of what the finished product looks like. Here's the milk. It looks like wet paint and this is the consistency that you want. Now that we have the milk ready, let's go ahead and make a drink. Obviously we'll start with getting some coffee. So I'll measure my portafilter and then add some coffee into the grinder. From there, I grind some coffee make sure that I have the dosing correctly. Today, I'm looking for a 17 gram dose. Once I have that, I put it into the group head and extract the coffee. Now, I'm being a little fast here, and the reason I am is because we have the milk already ready and waiting to go. So you don't wanna to wait too long because if you do, the milk will separate and you'll get that foamy mess. So we wanna go here and be pretty quick. Notice I'm also using the scale here for the extraction. The reason I am is because I want a two to one ratio. So I put 17 grams of coffee in there and I want 35 grams of coffee to be extracted. And so I want to be exact or as close as I can. And that's why I'm using a scale and I would recommend that you do so the same. It will make your coffee that much better. And here is the final shot of the extraction. Notice I got it pretty closely there. I wanted to get 34 grams, got 35. So that is about just right. So let's go ahead and pour the milk into the coffee. Like I said earlier, this does not guarantee you latte art, but it will guarantee you the right consistency for a latte. So let's go ahead and pour it in there. Go slowly with a pour, but be consistent. And then towards the end, if you can, and if you master this skill, you'll be able to do a latte art. Obviously, that was not the case for me today, but with that said, it was still a great drink and it finished strong and it tasted incredible. Here's a final shot of the coffee. Like I said, it tasted great. I hope you'll make it as well and I hope you found this video to be helpful. Please subscribe and make sure to leave a comment below. Thank you and see you next time.